Hello, welcome, welcome to the program, the ACP exam. I'm so excited that you've joined us, Esther, Magdalene, Isaac, everyone else who's joined this program in 2024, welcome. You need to jump straight into the learning system to catch up with us because we started this journey last week. So the way to do it is number one, understand what this exam is about. You could go to the PMI ACP exam content outline and read the high level. That's all I need you to do, read the high level. So let me explain. This exam is all about the mindset. So you must understand the Agile Manifesto values and principles. Remember the values. We have been developing product, and through this developing a product, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working product over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. Even though there is value from the things on the right, we value the things on the left more. So you got to know your manifesto values and the meaning of it. Then the principles, you got to know the 12 agile principles and be able to explain them. I go over this in the video that I'm going to show you at the end of this all, okay? Then we talk about value-driven delivery, which is value drives delivery. If it's not valuable, we don't do it. If it is valuable, we do do it. We look for value in everything, value in the deliverable, value in the process. We seek to cut out the fat. So we talk about value stream mapping, where we map all our processes and we want to make sure they are providing value and we want to optimize them for value. So the delivery system is value. The benefits, of course, are value related because Value is the net benefit that you get. So this is a key idea in Agile. Number three, engage your stakeholder as much as you need to. Number four, the team performance is driven by the right atmosphere, the right team environment. The Agile Manifesto principle says, give the team the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. That's key. Number five, adaptive planning. In the world of Agile, we are constantly using a rolling wave planning mindset because we are doing, then we're checking, then we're adapting in our planning. That's why we do a lot of sprint planning. We plan in our daily scrum and we're always making adjustments. Number six is problem detection and resolution. We all throughout the endeavor are looking for problems, impediments, obstacles, and blockers. And your job as a servant leader is to not only detect these, but to receive feedback about the detection that others have made and to help them resolve those impediments. Number seven, continuous improvement of the product the process, and people. This is a kind Kaizen-mindedness that must permeate across the entire project, across the entire endeavor, whatever it is. So we improve the product. We have opportunities in our sprint review to understand how our customer perceives a product. We have opportunities in the sprint retrospective to improve the process and also to be aware of how our people are perceiving the entire endeavor, but we also have a skills marketplace mentality where everyone showcases their skills and we cross train each other. These are the general mindsets for this exam, okay? Now, to catch up with us, my friend, you need to go on down to the learning system that you have been given access to. It's called the PMI ACP Masterclass. Now, this has a lot of content, which will be great for you to go through 
because we have everything from live classes to team meetings where we're going through the content. But I want you to go all the way down to the bottom of this page. I want you to go to page two. I want you to go all the way down again, all the way down. And then you're going to come across 2024, finally, because we have a 2021 session, then we have a 2022 session with a lot of detail, and then you get to 2024. It is here that I want you to click, and I want you to watch the session. So almost three hours, maximize it, press play, and there's your buddy, Phil. Let's listen. Agile certified practice that is easy. All right, you get the idea now. This is what I need you to do. Get on the system. You can see you still have a long ways to go, right? In this session, we jump into a lot of stuff. We jump into what is the Agile Manifesto values, what are the principles, we jump into Scrum. I go into Scrum in detail. I then go into some questions. I test the team on questions. I talk about the various aspects of Agile in the Agile Practice Guide. And we hit the Agile Practice Guide squarely. We give you a very firm foundation in the world of Agile. This is about three hours long. When you are done with this, you will then be caught up. And this is where I need you to come on the Saturday, because you do know that Saturdays on various days of the month, not every Saturday, but on certain days of the month, this is where we have what we call our PMP, uh, a PMI, I beg your pardon, ACP exam immersion. And in the immersion program, you are coming to discuss with your friends, with your, many of them are already PMPs, but you're coming to have a very robust discussion about Agile on a higher level, not at the level of PMP, but at a higher level that will challenge how you think about yourself as an Agilist. This is not you going through PMP in a dumbed down agile environment. No, no, no. This is we're taking it up a notch. And all of the aspects on the ACP, you will be expected to discuss them. So I know this is your sign up page. This is where you signed up. But this happens on certain days. So when you sign up, I encourage you to look at the days. And don't miss it. Like we're having one January 20th. Don't miss it. February 17th. Don't miss it. And this is where you come in. And this is where we go in on the ACP syllabus. Making sure that week by week we're studying together. We're doing assignments together. And we are building our agile prowess and awareness We've already had a number of students who have gone through this same experience, and I cannot tell you how great these sessions are when students get together to study with my tutelage. And when the team has developed a sense of direction, they get this stuff done. The last team we had, they got this done in six weeks. The ACP done and dusted in six weeks. And I'm talking about all the people in the class. So this is a great program for you. For those of you who have not joined and might be watching this, I want to encourage you, go on down to agileprinciple.com, sign up, come on board. For those of you who have just joined, my friends who have just joined, welcome. Let's get going, and I'll see you in the training. Bye for now.